I had the London Drum Show coming up last year, and I, I knew that there were monsters on it. Some of my favorite drummers in the world were on that festival. And so I thought, there's got to be a way to practice where I could grow as a drummer. So I had to come up with a method for that. Let's say that Wes is one of my students, and I just practiced, and I did rudiments for 20 minutes, then I worked on foot speed for 20 minutes, and then I worked on a metal song that I want to learn for 20 minutes. And it worked for me. Everything worked perfect. Now I give that to Wes. And I say, Wes, this is foolproof. I just did it. It worked perfect. And he's trying out for the Berklee School of Music jazz band. And he's like, okay, so foot speed, then metal. And I'm like, yep, it works for me, man. Do it. Well, that would never work for him because he's an individual. And that's what I had to realize is instead of thinking about these as drums, this is an art. So how do you practice art? I stopped thinking about how to practice music. I started thinking of how to practice art. A skill set you want to be better at might be your speed. Okay, you want to be faster at the drums. That's a skill set. There's also creativity. I wish I could just be better at fills. I wish I could improvise on the fly. Well, that's a totally separate skill set. That's creativity. Then there's things that you just can't do. And those are things that I want to practice. I want to learn how to do the things that I can't do. And then there's the most important thing, which is Shouldn't I be able to make music feel good? Isn't that why I'm doing all of this, is to make music feel good? Rudiments aren't the category. Fills aren't the category. Grooves aren't the category. The categories, I had to zoom out and think of things in a more broad term. And that's what I'm gonna give you guys today, which is what I call the four-stage practice method. So, as I zoomed out, I realized what is the first thing I need to do when I sit down on the drum set? And this became stage one. So stage one of the four stage practice method is non-creative. So a good example, like I said, would be maybe single strokes. Um, so I know that I can do this. But I want to come up with something that's actually usable for me. So the pattern that I came up with to practice my single strokes was two on the snare, followed by four on the floor tom. To the left of the drum set, I split the hands and play floor tom and rack tom, and then four on the snare. You're trying to do something you can already do, but better than you've ever done it. So I would sit there for 10 minutes. Stage one is always 10 minutes long. At that speed, I'm not stressed out on speed. I can clearly do that, but I'm working on the clarity of the notes and the control over the dynamics. So even that is still practice. Now one huge tip for all of you guys, stop speeding up. Speeding up is bad. When you do, what happens is we learn something and then we immediately try to see how fast we can get it to break. So what you wanna do is play something, And then make a conscious effort to stop and say, deep breath, new tempo. Deep breath, new tempo. So I'm trying to clean it up and I'm trying to be in like a meditative state that's just saying, could this be cleaner? Could this be more precise? Could I hit the drum in the center more? That's what stage one is all about, perfecting the things you can already do. Let's assume it's bass drum speed. So I want to get better at bass drum speed. And for me, playing groups of two, like right, left, kick, kick, that came pretty quick to me because I was obsessed with playing one by Metallica and I had to do it with one foot. So I just <laughs> from like maybe nine years old to 12 years old, all I did was sit in my room going. You know, you know the rest, okay? So that was not a problem. But if I had to play more than two notes, I was in serious trouble. So I had to come up with an exercise, non-creative, 
to work on multiple bass drum hits. So I just started using the single pair diddle, but only the right hand side of it, right, left, right, right. And I just looped that. And then I put the bass drum with all the right hands. Now as you're sitting there in your chairs wishing for me to speed up, you know the new rule is, what should I do? Stop, deep breath, new tempo. But the key is for you to figure out for yourself, what do you wish you were physically better at on the drum set? It's something you can already do, but you wish you could do it better. That's stage one.